continue my video, I was interrupted on my last video, just to continue what I was saying is that I don't know why everyone had the inclination, you know what I'm saying, or the, were under the impression that the mayor, uh, the new elected mayor of New York, was going to be able to reverse these mandates. You get what I'm saying? It's like, they weren't going to allow him to come in and then go against the system that they put in place. If you just think about it, like, you know what I'm saying? This is really just all about money. Because why does he want to become mayor in New York? Is he going to help stop the crime rate? Is he going to help, you know what I'm saying, increase more jobs? You know what I'm saying? And lighten the load on homelessness and poverty in his respective state. So you have to think about all of these things. Like, what's their primary goal? Why do you want to be a mayor of something? Are you going to help these adverse conditions that's been really going on for, like, decades? On top of decades? It just, it doesn't make sense. In order for any black person to sustain, you know what I'm saying, a level of superiority or to, um, to have a little bit, you know what I'm saying, of power and control, it's all dictated around money. Money controls everything. People will do anything for a dollar. And people will do anything for a dollar. Period. Period, point blank. So when you have these black people in, po in power, then you have to understand that what, why they want to run for office. Like, what's the true motivation and purpose if you know that the same system that's been keeping, you know, black people down for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years is the same system that you want to work for? Or you, that you're going to take orders and directions from. See, that's what I'm saying. See, the whole system needs to be gutted with people who care about the people and not people who are selfish and hateful, you know what I'm saying, towards another group of people for no reason. You get what I'm saying? So the system needs to be gutted. You know what I'm saying? From the ground up. It's just like building um, a home from the ground up. You have to start with the foundation, right? You have to lay your piping and you have to get your rebar, you know what I'm saying, and your sheetrock and your boarding and your bricks, and your cement. You need all of these different things in order for a home to have some sort of um, stability. You get what I'm saying? So in order for black people to really thrive and have any sort of stability, it has to start at the root, the foundation. Certain people need <clears throat> to be voted out or it's going to take for certain people to sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, everything that they've worked hard for, you know what I'm saying, in order to um, influence this change and that's just the way it's got to be from the beginning of time man you know what I'm saying from the beginning of time but everything was already built on hate you know what I'm saying so if everything was already built on separation division and hate then how do we expect anything to change Think about it. You know, history repeats itself. And it's unfortunate that our history our history was filled with a lot of hate, a lot of crime, a lot of killing, a lot of division, a lot of snitching, a lot of selling out. So we have to understand these things. So what you think that we're going to see in our future, you know what I'm saying? Kings and queens are going to see and endure. They're going to 
they're going to see and endure and, and live through these same things. And that's what we're going through now. You know what I'm saying? But the real history around every all of this is really positive. It's really positive. We were God's chosen people. We were God's chosen people. But you see what they did to Jesus, so they turned on him. They didn't think that he was who he said he was. But he was God chosen one. Right. He was never flamboyant. He was always humble. But look what they turned around and did to him. And we have to understand that by us black people being the chosen people that we are in the same boat. You know what I'm saying? Then you have a lot of the house Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Once slavery came in the Jim Crow, semi my Jim Crow came. And then all of this shit happened the way it happened within the last like 400 plus years. Now you had a lot of people trying to step on other people's toes to reach a certain level just to live comfortably. But if you have if you have a healthy mind, spirit, body, and soul, you don't need money to live comfortably. You don't need to step on people's toes to live comfortably. It's really the, it's, all that matters is what's in here. If you got a good heart, good spirit, good mind, it's easy to navigate through adverse situations. Do we feel our feels? Yes. Do we go through adversities? Yes. That dictate, you know, decisions that we make based off of emotions that we feel? Yes, those things are true. But if you connect it to something, then you can navigate through. You can navigate through. So for what Kyrie is doing, I command the brother, the king, the leader, for what all our greats in the past sacrificed for us, for people like Kyrie, people like, you know, Kwame, King Randall, Ticket, Carcino, you know what I'm saying? For people to speak against and all, uh, and all the other great kings and leaders out there that's doing their thing on their, you know what I'm saying? social media platforms shout out to you kings and queens spit fire shout out to that, that queen that sister but this is the world that we live in these are the things that we're plagued with these are the challenges that we face so I think we need to really just buckle down and support one another we need to come together we need to stand against anything that's unjust and that doesn't make sense. Um, we need to be supportive of one another. Like, aren't we tired? Of, aren't we tired of stepping on each other's toes just to reach a certain level? Because at the end of the day, whether you got money or whether you don't have a lot of money, you still gonna feel the same feels. You're still going to be stressed out. Money can't buy you happiness. It can provide a lifestyle that maybe you hope and dream of living. But even with that, you know what I'm saying, comes problems and issues. So we got to be connected. You know what I'm saying? And it starts from the root. It starts with me, you, you know what I'm saying, your neighbor. No matter what color they are, if we teach the right truth and we shed light on the correct things, then the correct people, you know what I'm saying, will start, you know what I'm saying, to reflect that change. And they'll start to do 
the things that they need to do. You know what I'm saying? To help our people. You feel me? Because it's not necessarily about black and white. It's just about hate and non-hate. Period. There are a lot of good Asians. There are a lot of good Mexicans, Latinos. There are a lot of good Indians. There are a lot of good, you know what I'm saying, Arabs. There are a lot of good <clears throat> black people. There are a lot of good white people. You know what I'm saying? But don't fall for the agendas that's out there. And we know what those agendas are. The Black Lives Matters agendas. Black Lives Matters not really for black lives. It's just, a, they just say that. It really means some way deeper. You know? Because if it was really about black lives, then why are we still up out here doing the same shit? Why are we still out here with no resources? You know what I'm saying? Why is our mind still being taken control of to make irrational decisions? Why are these things still happening to us? Think about it. Everything is political. Everything. Everything is political. And we sitting here stuck trying to figure out what side to go on. That's the problem. It's not about a side. It's about what's right versus what's wrong. What's just versus what's unjust. That's all it's about. You can throw all the money out the window. I don't care who's in office. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference who is elected to take a position that a previous person held. Unless you gut it all and start from the root so we can have a trickle down effect then this social construct that was started way back when it's always going to be the same that's a fact through the research through the history Aaron Rodgers got up on national TV healthy tested positive for COVID fully capable of playing in the game throwing a 70-yard strike in the air to his receivers. He pretty much validated everything Kyrie was saying. Period. Did he lie? Yeah. Was he not forthcoming? Could have been. I mean, allegedly, speculation. But is he... Is he denouncing that bull? Is he denouncing the bullshit that's out here? Is he keeping it 100 with the bullshit in the game that they playing with us? Yeah. Kyrie doing the same thing. <laughs> like, what's wrong with that? Kwame Brown doing the same thing. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with it? I just want to know. Somebody tell me, please. So, you know, like, share, subscribe this video. Let's support the real shit out here. Support motherfuckers like myself. Like real motherfuckers who ain't scared to just call a spade a spade. And we gonna get somewhere. If we can do that, we can build something great. And nobody can stop us. Trust me, they can try. They can't stop us in the end. Because the tides is turning. Trust me. That's why everything is being done out of desperation right now. Tides is turning. It's too many woke people. Too many woke people. They trying to shut them down or they trying to offer them this amount of money and that amount of money to join, you know what I'm saying, certain groups and shit. But the woke people know. Believe that. The woke people know. So the real Eat Leasy checking out, you know, like, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And I'll get at y'all in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a blessed weekend. Be safe.